Today we are going to be learning how to draw a cutie llama. I've drawn an example here, but I'm going to move this sheet over and start over. I'm going to be using a Sharpie, but you might want to start with a pencil. That way, if you mess up, you can erase and try again. We are going to use our paper portrait style. That means our paper goes long ways from up to down. So I'm gonna go in the middle of my paper and I'm gonna start up here in this corner for my llama's head. And I'm gonna start with a U shape. Just like that. Then we are going to make a llama's sombrero. So I don't want to have the sombrero go all the way down to this face shape because there are going to be some tassels coming down. The llama has some hair that comes in the way. And so I'm going to start my sombrero coming just a little bit up. And this shit's gonna be a line that goes straight across. Then we are going to make our tassels. So it's just going to be a short little line with a circle on the bottom. Then we can draw our llama's fluffy hair. And it's gonna go all the way up behind those tassels. I am going to draw the brim of the hat here, going straight across, but not further than these edges. And from there, I'm going to draw my llama's ears. Llama ears are kind of long, kind of like a bunny's ears, but maybe not quite as long as a bunny's ears. Just like that. And behind my llama ears, I'm gonna draw the brim of the hat. Now the brim of the hat should not be any more narrow than the llama's head because the hat has to fit on the llama's head. So I know that it needs to start about there and it can go up to a point and then it needs to, to end about there. So I'm gonna make it go all the way around there. You can make a piece of ribbon on the hat and then we're gonna take this brim and we are going to make it go around. on both sides. Okay, and there we have part of the llama head. Now, I want to do the llama's face. This llama's eyes are going to be closed and llamas have long eyelashes. See how I drew the llama's eye at kind of an angle? You don't have to do that, but it's a suggestion. So I drew my eye at an angle and then I added four eyelashes. Again, you don't have to add eyelashes. That's a suggestion. Next, I'm going to draw the muzzle of the llama and it's going to be kind of an oval shape that goes all the way down to the bottom of the face. And within this oval, I'm going to draw a open V shape for the nose and then a straight line down don't go all the way bottom to the don't go all the way to the bottom of that oval because we still have to draw the mouth if you want you could make that llama's mouth open you just have to leave yourself a little room you could even have the llama's tongue sticking out or have a funny face on your llama and then I'm going to draw just a little line to show that that llama has a chin. And then the last thing I'm gonna add on the face is some circles for the llama's cheeks. Again, this is just an option that you can add on your llama. Now I'm gonna go to where this llama's head ended on the hat and I'm gonna draw some fluff 
that goes all the way to the cheek. You don't want to go over those tassels, so skip on over those tassels. And then once you get to the cheek, we're going to make this neck come down to about halfway down the paper. And it's going to be just a straight line. So halfway down the paper, halfway down the paper. So see, that's about a little, maybe a little bit more than halfway down the paper. And that is our llama's neck. From there, we're going to draw a big old fat llama body. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this line right here and I'm going to just balloon that out and then I'm going to curve it down like that. <laughs> That's pretty funny. You don't have to make yours balloon that far out. It's kind of up to you what shape you want. And then I'm going to make this one balloon out not quite as far and then come down almost to the bottom but not quite to the bottom. Now, for the legs, we're going to draw three kind of breadstick shaped curved shapes. On my drawing, you can see them here. They're like three breadstick shapes. And they go all the way to the bottom of this area here. So I want to make sure that I start in about the length of, about the width of what a llama leg should be. So I'm going to go up and then down. See how that is about what a llama leg should be. And then I'm going to do the same on this one. Make them even. Two, so that means I need one more because we're doing three. and three. Now we have four legs. One, two, three, four. I'm going to cut those off and then we're going to add some llama hoofs. They kind of go out like human feet almost. So I'm going to make them come out. These are going to cross over each other. And there we have our llama body. Pretty funny. You can even add a little llama tail. Okay, now some of the cutesy llama characters that I have seen have had kind of this tinsel around the llama neck. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to add one here. And it's going to have those fuzzy balls. And then I'm going to add one here going across kind of the body. And that's going to have There's the cord, and then that's going to have those spiky little tassels going all the way. You don't have to have tassels. You could do the um, little yarn balls like I did on the first tassel here, or um, you could do another shape. You could do a heart shape. It's totally up to you. The last thing I want to do on my llama is I want to give uh, my llama some texture, so I'm going to add some texture to my llama's woolly coat and then add some lines to just show that texture as well. Okay, and the last thing I want to add is a cactus plate. Now we got to be careful because his behind is coming pretty far out this way. And it wasn't doing that in my first drawing. I had a lot of room on this first drawing. So if you want to have a lot of room, you want to make sure that your llama's behind doesn't come quite out as far as I did in this one. But I'm going to draw a rectangle pot. I'm going to give my rectangle pot some patterns. And then I'm going to draw some circular cactus shapes. And then I'm going to give those cactus shapes some spikes with some lines. And 
And on the top, I'm going to do one last thing. I'm going to add a little cactus flower. And your drawing is complete. If you did this in pencil, you'll want to go back and outline with Sharpie to really make it stand out. If you don't have a Sharpie, you could do it with a black marker or just leave it in pencil. And then you are going to go back and color this drawing in. So that's what I'm going to do now. My video cut out while I was coloring, but this is my final product. Hope you have fun and enjoy. See you later.